story time with Mr. K with Santa K. And here are my assistant elves, <coughs> Frank and June. Say hi, Frank and June. Hi, Frank and June. All right. Today we're reading Cats Don't Like Christmas. I got to tell you something. Okay. Why is he wearing um, all this stuff, but he doesn't like Christmas? Maybe they made him wear those things. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Okay. Or maybe we won't. I don't know. I have no idea what's in this book. Let's find out. Written by Andy Wartlock. Illustrated by Nam Zerch. It's Christmas time. It's here again. But first I need to say, I think you're making too much fuss about this holiday. Just look inside our little house. How fast it's rearranged. The blankets, candles, stockings, and my cushions have been changed. So many decorations and that really shiny thing. I think I'll wait till you're in bed, then give those things a ring. So they go, people go to bed at night, and the cat plays with all the bells and wakes them all up and goes, ding, 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 ding. They're laying in bed and they're going, and Rookie, and ba, 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 but he didn't eat the cookie yet. Oh, I think that's his cat ball. No, it is a cookie. Woo. It is a cookie. That's his table. Oh, okay. Yeah, he didn't eat his cookie yet. There's wrapping paper everywhere. There's nowhere to escape. Tinsel, twine, and twirly bows. My paws are stuck with tape. Look, the tape is stuck to his paws. He's got tinsel wrapped around his tail. Our living room has grown a tree. For me, this is a win. Look, this cat likes the tree, just like our cat likes the tree. Yeah. Yeah. So don't get mad when I'm up here. You brought the outside in. He's sitting up on top of the tree saying, my tree. The tangled ball of Christmas lights. One giant twinkling heap. You flick them on. They flash all night. I really need to sleep. I hear the voices. Then the knock. The family has arrived. I need a plan. I need it fast. I just need to survive. Cats really don't like other people, do they? They only like me and Frank and Dad and Mom. Oh, yeah. Well, our cat, most certainly. Look, he's got a map out. And this is Operation Christmas, and he looks like he's got a whole plan. And look, there's a knock, knock, knock at the door, and he goes upstairs, and he hides until all the family is gone. Now, on that note, please talk to Gran. It's how she strokes my fur, back to front and wrong way round. I'll do the same to her. Look, she took a hair dryer, and she blew her hair all around. <laughs> The Christmas meal, now that's a sight. Seems all the guests are here. The crackers and those silly hats. Please, not again this year. What happened to Silent Night? I hope it gets here soon. There's noisy music everywhere. They all sing out of tune. La, 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 la. La. You really decked the halls this year. All right, I will admit, cats don't like Christmas time. It's true. We actually love it. What do you think our cat thinks about Christmas? She does not like Christmas. No, why not? Why do you think Molly doesn't like Christmas? Because, 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 because every, every family is going out to Christmas. Leave where? Every family's going out to Christmas? Yeah. Where does one go out to Christmas? Wait, where? They, they go out to where Christmas when we do that? at New York City. Oh, they go to New York City for Christmas? I think she does. Yeah, what do you think Molly likes? No, 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 she well, doesn't. Well, hang on. Let Frank tell us why he thinks she does like Christmas. Um, Because she likes Christmas because she likes the trees because it's so snuggly. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but she doesn't like Christmas when when people come to our house. Yeah, why don't you think she likes people coming to our house? Because because she doesn't like other people coming to her house because yeah. because she doesn't like them the just petting her one because yeah. because she doesn't know them. Yeah, she because they, she doesn't know them. I mean, you guys don't like strangers that much either, right? Mm -hmm. So if you had never seen someone. And they just showed up at your house and tried touching you all the time. You probably wouldn't like that either, would you? And we said, mm, don't touch me. That's right. That's right. 
But we don't Nobody to wants about to other people to, to touch them because my teacher says, keep your hands to yourself. That's right. And cats can't say that, can they? So they just go hide somewhere. Hey, kids, I'm hiding every page. Try to find me and the yarn. Oh, there's so there's a mouse on every page and a ball of yarn. We're going to have to go back through this and see if we can find the, the mouse and the yarn, huh? Let's go. See. All right. Do you see a mouse in this picture? Mm. No. A goat. There he is. He's on Santa. Yep. Okay, next page. Where's he? Hmm. Where is he? Oh, yeah, he's right there. He was right there. We found him okay. All right, now how about this page? Okay. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, good job, Jim. You yeah, found him. Yeah, I found him also. All right, let's do one more. Can we page? Found him! Found him! Good job! All right. <coughs> one more, please. And let's see if you want to do one more. Ooh, this is a tricky one. This is tricky. Oh, yeah, it's not so in this page. Tricky. No, he's there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's right there! There he is. Good <laughs> job, guys. All <laughs> right. And if you guys want to find. All the mice and all the yarn. You should get yourself a copy and see if you can find them. Yeah. Let's go find him, Frank. All right, we'll go find more. Bye, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to story time with Mr. K. Today I'm being helped by my elves, Frank and June. Say hello, Frank and June. Hello. Hello. All right, today we are reading... My butt is so Christmassy, Christmassy, by Don McMillan, illustrated by Ross Kinnear. Ross Kinnear. Yes, Ross Kinnear. It's Christmas Day tomorrow. Our house is filled with delight. I'm skipping and flipping, jumping and dipping because Santa is coming tonight. My big sister is wearing her new holiday sweater. And Auntie is eating crackers and cheddar. Uncle says he would like pizza better. Grandma and Pops brought lots of surprises wrapped in boxes of all different sizes. And of course, my cousins are here. Look at all the people. It's a lot like our family. We have a lot of cousins and uncles and aunts. Mm. My cousins are mischievous. They jump all about. They make rude noises. And they laugh and they shout. What what rude noise is he making? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. And what? There's a whole bucket of farts over here. A whole bucket of farts? Yeah, that's a whole huge fart of farts. Oh. But I sit here keeping quiet as a mouse while mom and dad are like elves filling the shelves and sweet Christmas smells drift through the I house. I can this up. What was that thing? What was that white snow thing on the mountain called again? The white snow thing on the, the abominable snowman? No, 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 no. Maybe I don't want to. Oh, an avalanche? Yeah, okay. This could be an avalanche fart. Like for, um, all right, all right, go ahead. An this avalanche could, fart? Yeah, and they could cover them in farts. <laughs> and they could smell it so bad. Our tree looks amazing with bells and a star. It twinkles with blue and red light. It's bright and it's cheery, but I'm feeling dreary because suddenly I know that something about me isn't right. It's my butt, can't you see? It doesn't suit me. It's not in a Christmassy mood. <laughs> it's just a plain butt in pants that are red, but I'd like a fancier butt instead. I want to wear something exciting and bold, something festive like... Tinsel, silver, and gold. My butt will dazzle and glow. Stop I don't talking about butts. I don't well, this whole to. book is about butts. I don't want to just talk about that. And underneath, Santa undies, perhaps? No one will ever know. My butt will look jolly wearing some high. Stop talking about butts. 
How can I stop talking about butts? It's the words in the book. I don't, I don't want to hear the butts. Okay, well, you don't have to listen to it if you don't want to. It's Christmas! All right, all right, all right. <laughs> My butt will look jolly wearing some holly, but what if I have to sit? They'll be eking and shrieking, squawking and squeaking. No, my butt won't like it one bit. I need something softer, something easy to wear, like long Christmas stockings to hang here and there. He's hanging stockings on his butt. Yeah. They're all laughing at him. <laughs> I'd like some sparkles shining so bright and reindeer and snowflakes that glow in the night. Look at his dog. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> A Christmas tree! Now that will suit me. With layers and layers of green, with baubles that glow, bows in a row, and a star where it's easily seen. I don't know. He's wearing that. a Christmas tree on his butt. I know that because it's outside of the book. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's on the cover. Too. And then that's the same picture. Yeah, it is. By Don McDillon. <laughs> By Don McDillon? Don McMillan. Bells will be great to jingle all day. Angels and snowflakes to make a display. My butt will be stunning, a joy to behold. But suddenly, I think about Christmas, the story we're told, and I know, yes, my thoughts are quite clear. Christmas is a very special time of year. It's all about love and family, for caring and sharing, and not all about me. So... I'll just be the boy in red pants tonight. I'll take a deep breath. I'll be polite. I'll smile as I think of what my butt could be if what I was wearing was left up to me. It's Christmas morning. Santa was here. He left me a gift by the tree. It's light. It's lumpy. So soft and bumpy. I squeeze and I prod. What can it be? What do you think he got? He got a ball. A ball? I gasp. I shout. I jump all about. Perfect, I say. What a delight. And then I think, what is that? Uh, a Christmas tree butt. Yeah, it's like a Christmas Christmas decorated pants. Yeah. How did Santa get my present so right? And that's the end. He got the Christmas butt he wanted. So what kind of Christmas butt would you have? Uh, does, um... A green butt. A green butt? And I yeah. want a rainbow butt for Christmas. Oh, okay. I want, and my fart, and my fart could be rainbow sprinkle party farts. <laughs> <laughs> what What do rainbow Christmas parties farts smell like? You could cut them in half into cakes and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, thank you. I'm I'm all full on farts. Trying to quit. Thanks. Were you eating your farts just there? Are you eating your farts? Mm -hmm. Ew. Yes, I was the sprinkle farts. Oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Time with Mr. K. Hello. Today Hello. I have Dad and June with me. Say hi, darling. Hello. Hi, Dad and June. Hi, Okay, and today we're reading Silly Millie Christmas. Written by Sherry Wall. Illust illustrated by Rose Kinnear. No, illustrated by Iona Stooge. Designed by Aaron Riddle. I have a great dame named Millie. She poses and primps willy-nilly. Dressed fancy for guests, she wants to impress. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. <laughs> I have a great dame named Millie. She fogs up the glass willy-nilly, frozen at the window, longing for some snow. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have a great dame named Millie. She waits for our friends willy-nilly. From upstairs, she can see as they fill the entry. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have a great dame named Millie. She greets all the guests willy-nilly. Mistletoe hanging high, big dog kisses will fly. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. Look, she's got all these kisses on her because she was under the mistletoe. You know that? Do you know that if you're under hanging mistletoe, 
You have to kiss the person next to you? Oh. Well, you don't have to. It's su it's suggested. It is encouraged. <laughs> Why does he have... But no peer pressure. Called? No, that's a, like... Everyone who kissed him had lipstick on, so that's everyone's little lipstick kisses went... What, what, are, what is that? That's the mistletoe. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> Those are bones! Yeah, they look like bones. I think it's toast, but it looks... Or bread. It looks like bones. I have a great day... I think they cracked up the bones to pieces. Oh, it's like cracked in half bones. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what that is. I have a great Dane named Millie. She samples the food willy-nilly with squares of French toast and a bite of the roast. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. Oh, so Millie's sitting at the dinner table. Look at her. Doesn't our dog do that? Jump up to the dinner table and eat <laughs> no. everything? I have a great Dane named Millie. She decks all the halls willy-nilly. Through branches of pine, she'll spy as we dine. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. Look at her. She's hiding in the tree. Oh, hey, guys. I have a great Dane named Millie. She checks all the plates willy-nilly. Dinner table works best. Heavy mug needs a rest. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. Look, Millie's so tall, she can sit her head on the table and oh, give it a rest. My. Yes, she's so big. Oh, yeah. I have a great Dane named Millie. She begs for a snack willy-nilly. She'll sit on command for treats from my hand. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. I have a great Dane named Millie. She helps serve dessert willy-nilly. Pushes bowl around the floor till there's whipped cream no more. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly! <laughs> I have a great Dane named Millie. <gasps> she licks and she laps willy-nilly. Cool refreshments she stole from the porcelain punch bowl. <laughs> oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. She was drinking out of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh, my goodness. I hope one of you weren't in there last because Lord knows you wouldn't have flushed it. I have a great Dane named Millie. She unties the bows, Willie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Willy Willie Nilly. Nilly. Willy Nilly. She uh -huh. unties the bows, Willie. Mary! Thank you. Digs through the boxes and bags, because she can't read the tags. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas silly. Look, she opened everyone's present. Would you guys be so mad if Maggie, if our dog opened all your presents? Yeah, and I'm going like, hiya, hiya, go outside. And go <laughs> you would karate chop our dog? <laughs> and Santa will have to give us new presents. Go outside! I'm going to karate chop you. I'll give her a bone and I'll sign her up. I just like All karate right. chopping. For, for future reference, no karate chopping dogs or animals or anything else. Karate I, chomps! Ow. <laughs> karate chomps! Uh, Alright. I have a great Dane named Millie. She romps in the cold willy... Swowie! No. Nilly! Yeah, Nilly! Small talk starts to bore. She darts out the back door. Oh, Milly, you make Christmas? Nilly! Yes. I have a great Dane named Millie. She jingles her bells, Willie. Swilly! We're never gonna get this book. Right Nilly! She jingles her bells, Willie Nilly. Christmas carols, she howls through those slobbery jowls. Oh, Millie, you make Christmas. Sally. Woo. Yes. Um, I got a Christmas song. Go ahead. I got it. Woo, 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 What Christmas song is that? And woo, it's called Merry Christmas. Woo, 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 And that's a... <laughs> Yay! Oh. <laughs> Woof! All right, good job. I have a great Dane named... Millie! She sneaks Siri through... Millie. She sneaks through the house, Willie. Swilly! Nilly, Nilly. Is she naughty or nice? I don't have to think twice. Oh, <coughs> Millie, you make Christmas. It's silly. Yeah, look, and she's getting a big bone in her stocking. Oh, whose legs are that down there? Santa. Oh, Santa's coming down the chimney. She better watch out. 
Fred wants you. I have a great Dane named Millie. She's Fred's joy and love, willy nilly. Wishing holiday cheer and a happy new year. May your Christmas be so very silly. <laughs> and look, there's the real Millie. Real Millie. Yeah. Frank, look, there's a real Millie. Can we go meet her if you want? Maybe. Probably not, but mm. we could probably see a dog a lot like her. No, I want to meet her. All right, I'll see what I can do about that. Hello, everyone! Welcome to Candy King. Candy King? Yeah. yeah, Candy Cane Land, maybe. Welcome to Storytime with Mr. K. Today we are reading Rabbit Rabbit. Well, close. Share, share, Ms. Hare. By, um, I know what's by. I can read. Okay, go ahead. Who's that by? Illustrated by Moss Canare. Nope. Written by Becky Cummings, illustrated by Margarita Grasso. As the animals woke up, the farm was filled with joy. They found their brown dirt pens covered in fluffy white snow. Mouse was the first to speak about it. Winter is here! Come see the snow! <laughs> Mouse shouted at the rooster, who was still half asleep. He let out the loudest to spread the word. A we're going to pick. We're going to pick. Yeah, look at that. Like, he's like, no, ah. no teeth. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like, almost, like, free teeth, and he lost his, a lot yeah. of teeth. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to brush his teeth more, I guess, huh? Yeah. He let out the loudest cock a doodle doo to spread the word. Attention, everyone. Goats and pigs and turkeys, too. I have advice to give you. Cold has come, so let's prepare. Grab your hay and fluff your hair. Rooster closed his eyes and fell peacefully back asleep. The rest of the animals wanted to play in the snow, but they remembered Rooster's warning. All the animals thought about how they would stay extra warm. Miss Hare turned to Mouse and said with a proud grin, I'm ready to go out. My fluff keeps me toasty, but you'd better bundle up or you'll become a mousicle. Mousicle. At breakfast time, Mouse thought about how she could stay warm like Ms. Hare. She decided to ask her for a tiny favor. But oh. there's snow outside. Yeah. It's Christmas. Oh, Ms. Hare, would you be so kind to let me comb you a little? With a bit of your hair, I can make a coat to keep me warm. <laughs> Asked Mouse with a sweet smile. Ms. Hare, being the giving friend that she was, allowed Mouse to gently comb her. Mouse used the hair to make a coat. Then she scooted the snow to make tunnels. At snack time, Goat thought about how he could stay warm. Like Mouse, he decided to ask Ms. Hare for a tiny favor. What do goats sound like? <laughs> no. No, it just sounds like meh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I mean, ba, ba, yes. ba, ba. Oh, oh Ms. Hare, would you be so kind to let me cut a little bit of your hair? I want to make horn warmers, asked Goat with a look of love. Mrs. Hare, being the giving friend that she was, allowed Goat to give her a small haircut. He used the hair to make a delightful set of horn warmers. Then Goat galloped into the snow to make Goat Angels. At lunchtime, Turkey thought about how he could stay warm like Goat and Mouse. He decided to ask Mrs. Hare for a tiny favor. What did Turkey sound like? Gobble, gobble, gobble. Yes. Gobble, gobble, Mr. Gobble. Oh, Mrs. Hare, would you be so kind to let me shave off a little of your hair? I need boots, asked Turkey with pleading eyes. Ms. Hare, being the giving friend that she was, allowed Turkey to shave a strip of her hair off her back and use it for cozy boots. Then Turkey trotted off into the snow to make boot prints. She's giving all of her fur away to these other animals who need to stay warm, huh? At dinner time, the pigs noticed all the animals in new Look, winter gear. Look at his face. Yeah. He's like, oh, why don't you have a <laughs> They thought about how they could stay warm like turkey, goat, and mouse. The pigs decided to ask Ms. Hare for a tiny favor. And what? Oh, Ms. Hare, 
Would you be so kind to let us buzz off a little of your hair to make scarves? asked the pig with begging hooves. Miss Hare, being the giving friend that she was, allowed the pigs to take the rest of her hair and use it to make thick scarves. Then the pigs frolicked in the snow to make snowballs. And walk. Oh, he got hit hard, huh? Oh. And walk at him. He's like, I'm running away from you. That pig looks crazy. He's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, we've seen him. All the animals played happily in the snow. Not Ms. Hare, though. She was too tired and hungry from all her sharing. She decided to grab a drink of water and a carrot. When she reached the water trough, she saw her reflection. Oh, no! What have I done? shrieked Ms. Hare. I love sharing, but this has gone too far. How will I stay warm now? She decided to call it a night and think it over. She had to bury herself deep under the hay to stay cozy. Look, she's got like no hair left. How's she gonna stay warm? Well, with a, with a coat. <gasps> with a coat? I got a special idea. What? Your idea? To grab a tiny bit of the sheep. Oh, sheep. I haven't seen any sheep, but that would be a really good idea, I think, wouldn't it? Miss Hare had just about fallen asleep when she felt a tug on her tail. She looked up and saw a cow's big sticky tongue. Ouch! What are you doing? That's my tail, she shouted. Cow looked startled. Miss Hare! Oh, no! I didn't realize it was you under that hay. I saw a fluffy ball and thought I could use it to make me a warm earmuff. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay, said Miss Hare. I know I don't look myself. I gave away all my fur, and now I need to find a way to stay warm. She decided to call a farm meeting. Cow, can you moo everyone together? Ms. Hare requested. The animals slowly gathered, exhausted from playing in the snow. Ooh, that sounds cool. Feathered and furry friends, today I was trying to be kind to all, said Ms. Hare. Giving is great, but this went too far. Our hair and feathers belong on our own bodies. Now I know how important it is to take care of myself first. Goat shook his head in agreement, and the warmers popped off. The pigs sadly lowered their heads and slid off their scarves. Turkey took off his boots. Mouse said, You are right. We are sorry we took your hair. <laughs> we will make you a special coat to wear until it grows back. You were right, June. They're going to make him a coat. The animals worked as a team through the night to find odds and ends around the barn. They weaved together bits of string, pieces of hay, crunchy leaves, and old dried out flowers. Any holes were patched with fur from the boots, horn warmers, and scarves. When the animals finished, they presented Ms. Hare with the most beautiful toasty coat. Thank you, my friends. Not only have you warmed my body, but you have warmed my heart, too. Look, there she is with her new coat. It's made of, like, leaves and flowers. And look! Look how happy they are all are playing in the snow. Yay. The end. If do you guys know someone who like gives and gives you a lot of things, and best friend, a best friend, yeah, sure, best friends do it. So sometimes if someone gives you a lot, and often maybe sometimes it's a good thing to give them something back. Yeah, but yeah. if they give them a lot of sticks, I won't be able to see where I'm going like this. If they give you a lot of sticks. Yeah, like this. Like in front of your face? Yeah. Are people giving you sticks to put in front of your face? Yeah, but I think they're picking up the sticks on the ground so that so nobody trips on them. But but if they give me too much stick like this, I, I can't see where I'm going, right? Well, I mean, if you have a stick in your face, you can't see where you're going, I, I'm suppose i just don't i'm still unclear as to why they're putting sticks in your face and also yeah. if they put sticks in her face what will i do i i don't know i'm kind of confused by this whole conversation if i'm being honest so we are in a season of giving right now aren't we um yeah. no, where we give a lot no you are games giving no. well, thanksgiving we just had thing that's right thanksgiving is a time for giving giving yeah, thanks we got but now is the time for giving joy and love and presents 
And, and Christmas. And Christmas, that's right. And things to less fortunate Dad, people. Dad, but we already did Halloween, right? We did already do Halloween. Yeah, we forgot to buy another costume set. That was a witch costume. Oh, we forgot a witch costume? Valentine's yeah. Day is well, the... some giving? Valentine's Day. Let's go. Giving of love. Yeah, Valentine's Day is the time for giving of love. That's right. Hey, before we go to bed tonight, do you guys think we can go to our rooms and pick out at least one stuffed animal or toy that we can give to someone who might need it more than us? Yeah. Can I end the episode today? Yeah, how do you want to end it? Do you want to say bye to people or? Bye. Oh. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a man. He loved Christmas, and when he was nice all of those days, he he was nice all of those days. But when he woke up, he got some cold. But he was just nice. He said, "Hmm, why did I get cold? But well, I was just not." You mean cold like he got sick, or he was like cold like chilly? No, no, cold like this rock of cold. Oh, 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 my God. oh like a rock of coal. Yeah. Ah, he got cold. My yeah, no, he got nice on here because because he got like nice because oh. he was nice. Okay. And that's so weird. He thought it was so weird. Yeah. And he went to. Santa Claus and said why? Because he said you were naughty. And he said what? I wasn't naughty. I was nice. Did you see my list? You saw the check mark. Yes, I did. And I gave you some cool. That's all. It's naughty. What? Santa. And Santa poop on the face. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching Storytime with Mr. K. To purchase this or other great books or to watch more videos, visit StorytimeWithMrK.com. See you next time!